hate when you do that. Hi, I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8 here on WB59. It's the classic Trek countdown, and this time we'll look at a Star Trek episode where Kirk and company go to Deep Space Station K7, where they encounter <laughs> the trouble with tribbles. It's coming up next here on the classic Trek countdown from WB59. <laughs> Okay, here's my one triple tip. If they get hungry, don't feed them. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just scanning for Klingons. Wow, that guy Niels Barris looks just like the guy from the Patty Duke show. This thing just will not die. 30 years later in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, they use computers to put themselves back in the original episode. And there's more classic Trek from WB-59. Welcome back to the Classic Trek Countdown here on WB59. I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8. Coming up an episode with a plot device you've seen a zillion times on television. In this one, Kirk so you got stuff on gets him. split in two because of a transporter accident. Sorry. Aren't you me? Uh, yeah, actually I am. You know, you, you do look a lot thinner in person. I guess so. Here's the enemy within on WB59. Excuse me a second. Sunny. Rainy. Sunny. Rainy. Sunny. This was the first episode that Spock used the Vulcan nerve pinch. And now it's time to get back to classic Star Trek right here on WB-59. And I think I speak for both of us when I say we really enjoyed this episode in the classic Trek countdown here on the WB-59. Anything to say, Jeff? Uh, they should pay us double. Hi, Jeff Fox from News Channel 8. Welcome back to the Classic Trek Countdown here on WB59. We are moving along at Warp 8 and an episode coming up which can, well, best be described as unique because Spock loses his brain and then it's up to Captain James T. Kirk to find the brain and, of course, Spock gets to wear one really cool hat. Spock's brain. It's next on the Classic Trek Countdown from the WB59. Brain? Brain? What is brain? Do I get the part? You gotta love the acting by Shatner. Oh. Ah. I don't know. McCoy rewiring a brain. All right, we can say it now. Spock's brain, one of the lamest Star Trek episodes ever, but everybody seems to love it, and our classic Trek countdown continues in just a minute. It's the classic Trek countdown here on WB-59, and I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8. You know, back in 1964, Gene Roddenberry shot the first pilot for Star Trek, and network executives said no. So he went and he shot another pilot, but what to do with the original film? Well, they cut it down into two episodes, called it The Menagerie, and you get to see it next with the Classic Trek Countdown on WB-59. The original captain of the Enterprise was Christopher Pike, and he was played by Jeffrey Hunter. There's a little Trek trivia. Majel Barrett, who played number one, she later married Gene Roddenberry. Wow, that force field's really cool. A lot of the seeds planted in the menagerie were harvested again and again. Star Trek, one of the few sci-fi shows ever to really look at social issues. Hi, welcome back to WB-59's Classic Trek Countdown. I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8. Coming up next, The Menagerie, an interesting episode because the network executives told Gene Roddenberry, forget it, people wouldn't get this, it's too highbrow for television. And Roddenberry proved them wrong, and then just to rub it in their face, he went on to make eight feature films and have three spin-off series. So you, enjoy The Menagerie. Live long and prosper. up, Scotty. All right, as it stands now, our classic Trek countdown stands at T-minus 7 and holding, but I'll pick it up tomorrow at noon. I'm Jeff Fox. I'll see you then. Hi, Jeff Fox from News Channel 8, back on the classic Trek countdown here on WB-59. We've been looking at some of your favorite Star Trek episodes. This one is a classic among classics. It's a look at how Kirk and Spock had to go back in time to save the future. Of course, there are certain things you can't do when you go back in time, as you're about to find out. It's the city on the edge of forever, right here on WB-59. Not only a neat episode, a really well-recognized writer for this one, Harlan Ellison. Who played Edith Keeler, which Colin sister? Joe. Pretty good writing on this episode, and Harlan Ellison won a hero for it. 
Sitting on the edge of forever uses time travel, not the first nor the last time that'll be used in Star Trek. Our classic Star Trek countdown continues on WB-59. Hi, I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8, and this is the Classic Trek Countdown here on WB-59. Birds do it, bees do it, even educated fleas do it, and I guess Vulcans do it too, and I'm not talking about playing 3D chess. In this episode, Spock has to go back to his home planet and take a bribe and possibly kill Kirk at the same time. You'll see right here on WB-59. So many things to say about Love Vulcan style, so many ways to get in trouble. We'll be back. Here's the question we in the studio want to know if this is a Vulcan marriage. What's a Vulcan divorce like? Okay, I have one thing to say to the people of Vulcan. Lighten up. Take a vacation. So, McCoy fakes his death, uh, sort of like those World War II movies where submarines launched laundry out of the torpedo tubes to throw the Germans off. Classic Trek countdown continues. Hi, Jeff Fox from News Channel 8 here on WB59. It's the classic Trek countdown. Really neat episode coming up next. It's called Turnabout Intruder. In this one, Captain James T. Kirk switches bodies with a woman. A sort of fitting poetic justice. I mean, here you have the number one womanizer in the entire universe. Anyway, it was the last original episode produced, and it's up next here on the WB59. If Kirk can do it, so can I. Cool. You know, actually, Shatner does a pretty good job as a woman, don't you think? Let me see if the Vulcan mind meld works. Oh yeah, we're out of time. Be right back. In case you've forgotten, Turnabout Intruder was the last episode produced of the original Star Trek. Of course, it wasn't the end, not by any means. And our classic countdown continues in a minute. It's the classic Trek countdown here on WB59. Hi, I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8. We're going to see another classic Star Trek episode. This one has a number of firsts in it, including the first entry of the Romulans, an ugly-looking alien race who did bear a striking resemblance to a certain officer aboard the Enterprise. Oh, and the first use of the cloaking device, which you'll see in just a sec, right here on WB59. Oh, and a little something I got from Mike Tyson. What do you think? Is it me? <laughs> The Romulan commander, does he look familiar? He also played Spock's father. Klingons, Romulans, Ferengi. Can't they just get along? By the way, right after this episode was filmed, that famous Romulan bird of prey spaceship disappeared, walked away. Maybe cloaking really does work. Hi, Jeff Fox from News Channel 8, back with a classic Trek countdown. You're on WB-59 taking a look at some of your favorite Star Trek episodes. If you've been watching for any length of time, you know a lot of the episodes seem to take place on Earth, or at least in Earth-like surroundings. They're called Earth Alternate Episodes. Save the network, save Gene Roddenberry a lot of money. Here's one of the best, right here on WB-59. Gangsters in Space. And later, Kirk visits the restaurant that serves broken leg of lamb. I'd love to say something about the suit, but... Look at my choice in ties. Team tip number one, set your phaser on stun and hope for the best. Remember the prime directive, you can't mess around with another planet's future, no matter what. I'm Jeff Fox, the Classic Trek Countdown continues right here on WB-59. And welcome back to the Classic Trek Countdown here on WB-59. I'm Jeff Fox from News Channel 8. Coming up next, we've got James T. Kirk battling the famous Gorn to the death. What's a Gorn? Well, a Gorn is an intelligent, super strong, lizard-like alien with really bad breath. Well, I'm not sure about the bad breath, but the rest holds true. It's all on the classic Trek countdown from WB-59. I believe it was Shakespeare who said, there's nothing like alien combat in the morning. <laughs> I believe we have some wires crossed in the Universal Translator. I didn't think Kirk was going to make it. Well. I did this time. I hadn't the first 34 times I saw this. Uh, we'll be back. More classic Trek countdown coming up on WB-59. Hi, Jeff Fox from News Channel 8, back here on WB-59 and the classic Trek countdown. And if you've been with us, you know we've been playing some of your favorite episodes. Actually, not your favorite episodes. These would be the favorites of the guys in the paper, and they're the ones who decided. Coming up now, Journey to Babel. Not only do you get Spock, but you get his parents, and you get some really cool aliens as the classic Trek countdown continues right here on WB-59. Mark Leonard played Sarek in three of the movies and two episodes of Next Generation. By the way, have you noticed Mark Leonard, who also played a Klingon in Star Trek The Motion Picture? 
Something unusual coming up. McCoy gets the last word. Watch. So WB-59's classic Trek countdown is over, but really the Trek is just beginning. You can watch Star Trek and Star Trek The Next Generation on WB-59 starting tomorrow.